These uh, samples show the incredible power that is inherent in the Hutchison effect uh, in terms of breaking apart solid pieces of material, including aluminum, metal, steel, and melting quartz, such as that. The samples that are on the table here uh, generally came from that time period and uh, demonstrate that there's a wide variety of destructive phenomenology associated with the Hutchison effect. This piece here is the same B-shaped piece that lifted off on the video clips that you just saw uh, a moment ago. It weighs about a third to a half a pound and it's a solid steel piece. These pieces are aluminum. You see on the graph paper, here's a scale or a ruler to give you an idea of scale. This piece defoliated, you might say, perhaps along the grain boundaries. It was an extruded piece and it just delaminated over a period of uh, several minutes. You can see that the surface has undergone a great uh, structural change. It has delaminated and uh, separated in sheets. Some of these uh, sheets were cut off for x-ray fluorescence analyses and for examination by electron microscope. Here's a aluminum piece with some wood that was embedded in it that twisted up while John was watching. Here are other aluminum pieces which blasted themselves apart into all sorts of little fibers at the end and suffered incredible damage and contortions in the process. All sorts of little fibers are produced in here, and this is no doubt a bulk phenomenon, it's not a surface phenomenon. Whatever effect is occurring here occurs right through the bulk of the material. 